What's up? Mad Hatter, how you doing? It's been a while since I last uh, talked through the videos to the interwebs. Uh, I miss all y'all. Uh, it's been real busy for me lately. Uh, I took on a new job. Of course, uh, about a year and three months ago, I moved down here to the Austin, Texas area. So, uh, you know, that takes up some time. Um, finally settled in at the new job and everything's going good. So, back in the business, back in the game, back to uh, the interwebs. Anyway, uh, welcome to the first week of March of the Scrubs 2014. Uh, many of you remember that we did this last year as well. Uh, had the March of the Scrubs where every single day in March, you get something fresh, something new, something sweet. Um, you know, we got, uh, spotlights on artists. We have new singles. We have new albums, a couple new artists, groups, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, I, I'd look more excited right now, but I haven't been getting any sleep. I've been getting like two and three hours a night, uh, because I've been staying up late, preparing all this stuff for you guys, making sure that the, the March event's going good. And then, my son's been waking me up like two or three hours later. So <laughs> I'm a little tired, but um, but I'm really super excited. Um, I mean, we've got three new groups joining the label this month, which is awesome. Uh, one of them actually today uh, is pretty obvious since, you know, 70 whatever percent, I'm horrible at math, are actually members of Scrub Club already. But uh, RPG Unit joined up today. Uh, got their first single, which uh, is from their Borderlands 2 uh, project that's coming out soon. Um, yeah, it's really rad. It's called Vault Hunters. Uh, that's there on the site somewhere somewhere below. I'll have a link to that. Isn't that cool how YouTube people are like, right here, and then the link goes here, but I got time for that shit. So it's going to be somewhere underneath this fold right here. Anyway, <laughs> Vault Hunters by RPG Unit. That's out today. Download it. Share it. Uh, get hyped for the project because holy shit is awesome. RPG unit is, of course, DJ Robo Rob. He is uh, he's behind the wheels. You've got uh, Starf. You got Starby, who's excellent. She's just getting started out and she just rips it. You'll hear it. Uh, we got IQ, who I don't know uh, personally too well yet, but I hear that he's a badass dude from a lot of people. He gets a lot of props. So. Uh, definitely be checking him out. And King Phoenix, of course. King Phoenix is rad, as usual. Hamming it up for everything. So, yeah. And Starf, that guy. Whatever. <laughs> no, Starf is fucking killer. Uh, a lot of people said he stole it in this track. I don't know. You'll have to listen to it. But Vault Hunters is out. RPG unit joining Scrub Club makes me super happy. So, that's today. Day one. We got some fresh content for you already. Um, yeah, over the course of the month, we actually, like I said, three new groups joining the label, which is awesome. Um, the other group has been kind of behind the scenes. Uh, that's 404 Device. Um, we're finally wrapping up our project. We've had so many pitfalls and challenges getting it together, but uh, finally coming out, which is awesome. Um, that's uh, Untested Methods. Uh, King Phoenix, Josh Klinkenpeel, also known as Illuminati, and uh, myself. It's all political. It's very angry. Uh, it's what I'm feeling like right now, honestly. Uh, <laughs> no sleep makes you very grumpy, right? Yeah, grumpy is one way to put that album. It's it's real fucking grumpy. But uh, yeah, the Anarchist Rhyme Book, which is coming out closer to uh, the end of the month is going to be dope. The other group, I can't tell you because it is a secret. I can let you know that it is a group that I've wanted on the label since the label started. Uh, we've been running in parallels with this group for years and years and years. Like It's almost like we all started up at the same time. Uh, they've been family on and off over the years. Um, you got to love long distance relationships. But... So excited. Uh, you're going to have to wait until the 31st, though. That's our big finale. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty big surprise. It's cool. Um, it's a triumphant return for them. And uh, it's only so appropriate that that's with Scrub Club. And y'all are going to love it. 
If you do know him, you're going to be hype. You're going to be so hype. And if you've never heard of him before, you're going to love him. Um, anyway, we have nine singles coming out this month at least, which is really sweet. And we have eight. How many fingers is that? Eight new albums or EPs, whatever. I call them albums. I don't care how long they are. Hello. Uh, kind of chilling in an undisclosed location here. Uh, anyway, eight albums, which is super rad. Um, yeah, so this March is going to be really, really dope. You can download this calendar, uh, the March of the Scrubs calendar, which is slightly cryptic and uh, thrown together uh, on scrubclubrecords.com right now. And, uh, well, why I got you here, why don't I just tell you the schedule here real quick um, on my shitty Samsung phone that's dying on me. Uh, this may be the last good thing it does. All right, so today, as I told y'all, RPG Unit joined Scrub Club, which is fresh. Make sure to give them uh, some high fives if you're in their vicinity. And if not, internet f- high fives are, are totally acceptable. Uh, internet fist bumps. Use your judgment. Um, anyway, yeah, Vault Hunters singles out today. Tomorrow, on the 2nd, we're going to have a spotlight on Emergency Pizza Party. Um, on the 3rd, spotlight on Kabuto the Python, who some of you guys know. Uh, on the 4th, we're going to spotlight... I skipped something. I told you I'm horrible at math. Anything with numbers. On the 4th, we're going to spotlight MC Oh My, who is uh, one of the newest cats on the label. And uh, if you did not download Angel Confetti yet, Angel Confetti, go download that. Because that shit is dope. And if you don't, I'll remind you on the 4th. On the 5th, we're going to have a spotlight on Definition, who has dropped off the face of the earth and now lives in video game land. Um, On the 6th, a lot of you, this is like due to popular request and also because I should have been doing it anyway. uh, We're going to have merch back up. Um... Kind of took the clothing store off a little bit. Uh, we were ha- <clears throat> having some problems on the back end. Um, but now it's going to go back up and we're going to have that uh, new no Do logo. We're going to have stuff up with the gear logo, uh, which is sweet. And also we're going to put up some one of a kind stuff in the uh, in the regular merch, you know, where you get your, your buttons and your stickers, things like that. Um Stuff like hand-drawn sketches from the artists, and yeah, I don't know. It's it's uh, some random stuff. Some of it has nothing to do with Scrub Club at all, except that it's from the artists, or it's just a dope item. So, just going to throw that up there. Have a Scrub Club yard sale, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> on the uh, 7th, we're going to have a spotlight on Torrance, and uh, going to put out that new single, uh, We Got Powers. It's been available on someone else's album for a bit, but... A lot of you haven't heard it, so we're going to do that. On the 8th, we're going to spotlight Mr. Funky 49 from down in Florida. On the 9th, we're going to spotlight MC Rection, also from Florida, but with a beard. And uh, he's going to have a new mystery single for y'all. Uh, on the 10th, spotlight on Sample the Martian, who's just become a daddy. Congratulations, man. I know I saw Proud Papa pictures up there. On the 11th, spotlight on King Phoenix. That's my brother. And his new album, which is Oh My Fucking God, It's Sick, is New Balrog. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's new. It's by him and Untested Methods. It's uh, called Balrog's Boombox. And if you're a Street Fighter fan, you're going to fucking love it. The beats are, are based on, of course, Street Fighter themes. And Untested Methods has made each one his own. And, oh, my God, it it hits so hard. And then King Phoenix, you know, he's dope. He's always dope with the lyricism. Like, uh, it's it's just so good. It's so good. Um, So you have to check that out. And that's coming out on the 11th. And it's already one of my favorite albums that we've ever released. Uh, I was having (laughs) work done on this car um, yesterday and, uh, found out that a couple of the mechanics were Street Fighter fans. So I'm like, Hey, let me, let me preview this for you. You know, this is coming out on the 11th and, uh, they saw the cover for it and they started hearing the songs and the whole fucking shop (laughs) was just, they were just getting crazy. Like, uh, who knows? Like, I think somebody, somebody on uh, either Facebook or Twitter was like, you know, Street Fighter just brings people together. 
And if that's not true, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, people fighting and punching each other in the face brings people together. Uh, anyway, on the 12th, we'll have a spotlight on Rob Grounds, who is also dropped off the face of the earth because he's living in a spot right now. Uh, it's not the greatest situation. He doesn't have internet, so he's sparingly on. 13th, we'll have a spotlight on Remy San. You know him from Supervillains. And what some of you don't know is that he's got uh, actual solo material on the site. Uh, we just need to get him an artist page up and running. Hopefully we'll get that done soon. Uh, but he's going to have his new album, which uh, tentatively called Remy Mine. He uh, makes decisions at the last minute, as most all of us do. So that may be a title change, but uh, I heard that and it's crazy. I mean, if you know Remy by now, it's just blasts and fragments of uh, real quick raps, real, uh, real personal stuff. On the 14th, we're going to have a look back at the Sinister Six Project, kind of like a theological deal, I suppose, <laughs> as theological as Sinister Six can get. On the 15th, we'll have a spotlight on Supervillains, and surprise, a new album by them as well. It's been a while since uh, Viet moved off to uh, Seattle, and uh, Remy got stuck <laughs> back in Indiana. Um, but it's called A Future of Fewer Worlds, and that'll be out on the 15th. On the 16th, we'll have a spotlight on Untested Methods, and he'll have a new single called Helix Save Us. I heard a preview of it. If you've been watching Twitch Plays Pokemon, you'll finally have an anthem. Because it has so much dope fan art, but now you're going to have an anthem. And that's fantastic. And facepalming at the same time. The 17th, we're going to have a contest uh, for all of our supporters to uh, submit some fan art. Uh, we did that uh, last year and got some of the awesomest stuff ever. Um, it was really, really dope, and we'd love to do that again. Um, yeah, Allie killed it last year with a whole bunch of shit. She just submitted a whole bunch of shit, and uh, it was just awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, on the 18th, we'll have a spotlight on DJ Robo Rob, and he's going to release two singles. Uh, Unpause that he did with Professor Shy Guy, whom a lot of you uh, in the nerdcore circles know. And uh, Dillian Francis, Bootleg Fireworks Burning Up. It's a, a breaks relic from Robo Rob. On the 19th, we're finally getting to release. <laughs> yes. Nosylvania from Too Mellow, uh, who, if you uh, ever fill up. Followed his uh, fellowed, <laughs> if fallopian. If you ever followed his uh, his mashup stuff, of course you'll know Chrono Jigga, which was Chrono Trigger and Jay Z. Well, this is kind of along the same vein, but a completely different approach to it. It's a mix of Nas music, well Nas lyricism, with uh, Castlevania, and it's a dope project. And for those of you that got to download it earlier from him. It's going to have an extra track on it that's exclusive to the Scrub Club release. So that's dope. And then, on the 20th, we'll have a spotlight on Mr. Too Mellow himself. And he's going to release a mystery single. Ooh, mystery. Mystery on this list either means it's a secret and they want you to get surprised when it's released. Or they don't fucking have any clue. <laughs> Just to let you know. Transparency, right? Um, but what's what? On the 21st, we'll have a spotlight on Southside, Seattle's party band. Love those guys. On the 22nd, we'll have another contest. And a little history back on it is it's the first contest Scrub Club ever ran back in 2001. Back when the only group on the label was was Shadow Puppets and me as a, a solo artist. Um, think, think back to uh, having like a supporter artwork. Except, in this case, bathroom stalls. Uh, it's slightly complicated, and the, the legalities are, of course, completely fruitless. But uh, it's going to be a fun contest. Um, I'll have to dig up and see if I can find any of the pictures when we did that back in 2001 of people tagging Scrub Club in the dirtiest bathrooms they could find. Um, this is the kind of stupid shit that my mind comes up with. Anyway, <laughs> on the 23rd. Uh, we're going to have Spare Some Change Day. Uh, anybody that can donate either their time, um, their social accounts, or you know some spare change um, to our account, 
uh, you know, to help us either blast out what we're doing or uh, some money so that we can uh, afford some new merchandise. Um, I'd really like to get some premium accounts for Scrub Club uh, this year, you know, things like uh, SoundCloud, um, other things like that, some licensing fees so we can start uh, start getting on some more streaming services uh, by going around the, the back way, since a lot of us don't have physical content with barcodes. It's kind of tough for us to get on some of the major streaming services, but there's ways to do it. Um, we just need to uh, to put that together. So having some extra money would definitely help. Um, our donations are running low because it's been a while since we've had a donation drive in a while. Um, and we've uh, spent quite a bit on hosting and things like that. After Chrono Jigga came about, <laughs> uh, hosting has started to appear to be a challenge, at least with what we were paying uh, before that crash happened. Um, well, also, uh, speaking of change uh, and sense, yeah, we got a little, little wordplay in there. Going to release Nonsense Volume 20. Uh, those of you that love nonsense because of all the, uh, uh, you know, all the random stuff uh, that you get, whether it be old unreleased material or singles that might be on other albums, you guys love that. We're going to keep them coming. Especially with the new people on the label. Uh, it's been a while since Nonsense 19. <laughs> 19. So we're going to 20. On the 24th, we'll have a spotlight on HD Ninja. On the 25th, a spotlight on Maros. And he's going to have a new album. Which is really dope. And you know what? Like, uh, this was going to be a mystery album. Meaning I did not know the title of it. But I really think that he just sent me a message. Let's see, let's see. He thinks he's going to name it Progression. And that uh, that makes sense. He literally just sent that. So there's a tip. Uh, that project's probably going to be called Progression. Um, which, if you know Louie, that's all he ever does is progresses. And uh, I'm excited for that. I've heard a couple of the beats. Quality stuff. And if you didn't know... I am doing 8-Bit Bullshit 2, and Maros just wrapped up doing all the beats for that. Ah, oh, it's killer. He did a perfect job. Um, the 26th, we're going to have another contest for video submissions. Kind of like this. Pop open a, um, an iPad or a uh, skip dot doobly bop, whatever you kids use these days, <laughs> and uh, create a video. Uh, and upload it, you know, you could, uh, do a music video for one of our songs. You could, uh, you know, just reach out, talk to us, ask questions, um, promote us, spread the videos, you know, um, we just want to see a lot of video content and, uh, we want to meet a lot of y'all, you know, we can look through Facebook all damn day at pictures of your dogs and, uh, of memes and shit, but we can't really, you know, gauge, a lot of your personality from those. So let's get some videos going and uh, let's meet up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get a little more personal. That would be really dope for me. Um, on the 27th, we'll have a spotlight on Starf and he's going to have a new mystery project for you. <laughs> Back to the mystery project, right? Um, there's also a possibility of a Starf sense. Um, but we'll see. Like, anybody that knows him knows that he's created like 4,000 tracks and most of them are unreleased. So we'll see. On the 28th, 404 Device will officially join the label and will release the Anarchist Rhyme Book. Finally. Had so many trip ups along the way and it's finally coming out. And I'm super excited for that. On the 29th, we'll have a spotlight on Service Lab. And uh, Gnome's going to have a new album for you guys. Uh, probably an EP length type of deal. I know I'm on one of the tracks called Falafel Guy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's a lot of humor, a lot of dance stuff, just like you expect from Service Lab. Finally getting some new content. All the way from Israel. On the 30th, we'll have a spotlight on some fat bastard named Mad Hatter and uh, a new single called 20XX. You may know what that's about if you're into the video games. Um, yeah, so 
first single off of 8-Bit Bullshit 2, 20XX, coming out on the 30th. I'm excited. I should be. It's uh, been a long time coming to make a sequel to that album. And on the 31st, we'll have our mystery group that uh, that no one has clues about. I have not told a single soul. Uh, I seriously have not told a single soul. Not any y'all. Not my wife. Not anybody. Uh, you know, whether my wife would care or not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, she is actually the glue that holds together Scrub Club, so... Um, but yeah, uh, she knows that I deal with artists all damn day and she's probably tired of hearing about it on that case, but I've not told anybody. So that tells you something. It's that big of a surprise. It's something that feels like it's been in the making for absolutely ever. And I'm super excited about that. Um, Oh, man. Every time I open my mouth, it's almost a spoiler. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. Welcome to March of the Scrubs 2014. It's going to be real fly. Um, I encourage everybody to get as interactive as you want. Um, share everything that you can. We want to make sure to get all this new stuff out to people. We want to bring in a lot, a new family, like we did last year with this event. Um, but just have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, keep keep a lookout on the socials. Uh, as the week goes on, we may have people pop in to do uh, Google Hangouts and Q&As and, and things like that. So, uh, you know, download the calendar from the site. Uh, check out the schedule. Uh, and then uh, keep watch for extra special stuff. Because all that stuff is happening for sure. But there's going to be some uh, surprises along the way. So, anyway... I am going to get the hell out of here. That looked like it says Coost. The Coost place. I didn't even pay attention to what's in the background. I'll probably get in trouble for this later. <laughs> anyway, so uh, enjoy March of the Scrubs. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I'll, uh, I'll be tuning in as much as I can uh, to give you these video updates. I'd like to do one every day and uh, explain stuff about artists and spotlights and uh all the content at least uh from my viewpoint so uh yeah i'll be seeing y'all much love scrub club out